fall of our technologies. What was it? Now that the scientists have devoted so many years to the Gravity Pro B program, what do they think the test will show? Do they think that Einstein will be proven right? Or do they think that he may be proven wrong? What do you think the result will be? Oh, I always have a very straightforward reply for that. I don't care whether Einstein is right or wrong. What I want is the experimental truth. Final official flight go, no go status is now commencing. Flight? Go for lunch. C and DH? C and DH is go for lunch. Com? Com is go for lunch. Copy that. GPB is go Five, for lunch. Four, three, two, one. After the launch from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California, the satellite is put into a circular polar orbit at an altitude of about 400 miles or 650 kilometers. Then the satellite gets ready to lock on a bright guide star. All changes to the gyroscope spin directions are measured with respect to that star. However, any suitable guide star is relatively close to Earth and would be observed to move. The best guide star for Gravity Pro B, IM Pegasi, is also observed to be clearly in motion. Far better references for Gravity Pro B in contrast would be the most remote objects in the universe. Quasars, but they are too dim for the onboard telescope. The solution is to measure separately the motion of Iam Pegasi relative to quasars, and later correct for that motion, so that finally the changes to the gyroscope spin directions can be related to the distant universe. Four different kinds of motion can be measured, two relatively large ones and two marginal ones. The relatively large motions are the parallax motion as an apparent motion of Iam Pegasi relative to the distant background seen from the Earth as it orbits the Sun, and the proper motion of Iam Pegasi within the galaxy. Both motions can be measured to distant quasars. The two marginal motions are the motion with an iron pegasi due to its binary nature and the jittery motion due to physical processes like flares on or near the surface of the bigger star of the binary system. The total motion of iron pegasi in one year alone is 100 times larger than the smallest gyroscope spin axis changes measurable with gravity pro B. Clearly, this motion has to be determined with high accuracy for Gravity Pro B to be successful. The motion of Iam Pegasi is determined with a technique of very long baseline interferometry, or in short, VLBI. This is at present the most accurate technique that we have to determine such motions. The most sensitive radio telescopes on Earth are used to determine Iam Pegasi's motions. Altogether, 16 telescopes worldwide have taken part in the coordinated VLBI observations. They have observed as a network Iam Pegasi simultaneously four times a year for several years. The path of the individual telescopes, as the Earth rotates, are used to synthesize a virtual gigantic radio antenna as big as the Earth itself. Oh. 
A hundred thousand gigabits of data are processed in each observation. Then the path of the individual pairs of telescopes trace out the dimensions of the gigantic synthesized antenna while the data are analyzed. The results are images of Iam Pegasi and extremely accurate measurements of its motions with respect to the quasars. In fact, one of the most accurate such measurements ever made of a star. Gravity Probe B measures the minuscule tilting motions of the gyroscope spin axis with respect to Iam Pegasi over the course of a year and send the data down to the Mission Operations Center. At the end of this support, we'll like to switch the Framex logging log file. Copy. Then the path of Iam Pegasi itself across the sky is subtracted so that finally, after years of analysis, the motions of the gyroscope spin axis can be related to the distant universe. With the greatest accuracy, Gravity Probe B will measure the minute curving and warping of space-time near our Earth. Will the small gyroscope spin as predicted or not? Gravity Probe B is essentially a test of Einstein's concept of gravity and the universe. It boils down to a simple question. Was Einstein's view of the universe right or was it wrong? The answer to this question may have an immense impact on our understanding of nature as a whole and may help us to finally find a seamless, unified theory of our universe.